Hi, Mark here from newhometricks.com, just with a mini update uh, on something that I've been exploring with our Philips Hue setup, and that's how you can control your lighting from Windows, from your PC. Um, we've seen how to control Philips Hue from the app, from the official app, as well as how you can control it using things like the Philips Hue tap switch. But what if you're sat with your laptop and you want to use it to control your lighting, or maybe you've got a Windows tablet and you'd like to use that? Well, there are a couple of different things that you can do. You can use the MyHue website. If you go to the main Hue uh, webpage, which is meethue.com, and click on MyHue in the top right, using that you can then sign in to your Hue bridge. And you can do this remotely as well. You don't have to actually be on your wireless network at home. Um, you, of course, have to have set up a Hue login and paired that up with your bridge. And once you've done that, you'll then be able to turn your lights on and off, as well as edit some of the settings um, on your Philips Hue bridge and on your lighting system. But it's fairly basic functionality. This is pretty much all you can do, just turn lights on and off, and that's about it. If you want more advanced functionality, you're going to need a more full-featured app. Now, unfortunately, Philips don't provide a full app in the official Windows 10 App Store. So if you're looking for this kind of functionality, you're going to need to use a third-party app. Thankfully, there are several of these available. One that I've been exploring is uh, HueTro for Hue. Seems to work reasonably well. There's a free version of this. And once you've paired it up with your bridge using a straightforward discovery process, you'll then be able to see all of your lights, turn them on and off, control the brightness, etc. Um, you can also review your scenes. One slight problem that I've noted is that the living scenes functionality seems to actually uh, deliver its feature through setting up lots and lots and lots of scenes on the bridge that are normally hidden from you. This is one of the Hue Labs features that I've uh, been using uh, on the Hue bridge, and we explored this in a previous video. Now, normally you don't see all of this stuff, but because the app is just interrogating the bridge and showing you everything that's there, uh, all of these show up. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a way of hiding these, so maybe that's something that will come in a future update. But if you scroll down, um, you can actually then see the rooms themselves, living room and bedroom in our case, and see all of the normal scenes that you have set up, um, both the built-in ones that would have shipped with the Philips Hue product, as well as any uh, scenes that you've created yourself. And you can create your own scenes as well. Just click on the New button, and you can then set a scene up click on add and choose the bulbs, the uh, lights and bulbs that you want to include in the scene and configure them accordingly and save your own scene. Um, there's another feature here called ambiences. This is part of their own kind of living scenes feature. You can get the lights to flash and change color, but it's a premium uh, feature of this app. You need to upgrade and pay a little bit of money in order to unlock that functionality. It supports things like alarms for having lights coming on at a particular time. Um, you can have a look at your devices, and in this case, obviously, we've got a couple of tap switches, so you can just sort of monitor um, and see what you've got set up there. And if you go into the automation tab, you've got things like geofencing that you can turn on, um, log in and out, have uh, missed call notifications, get the lights to flash if you've missed a call or when you get a notification on your phone, that kind of thing. So there's various different bits of functionality here. Some of these features uh, are things that are not actually in the official Hue app. So there's a few extra bits and pieces here that you get that you don't actually get from the official app. So that can be quite nice potentially. Um, this isn't the only app that's in the Windows 10 store. There's several uh, others that you can have a play around with, but this certainly seemed to be um, one of the more popular ones that's in there. Um, I'll have a play around with it further. One of the things that they say that this can deliver is integration with Cortana. Uh, now, I, I need to go back and have a look at how you can use things like Siri on the iPhone. Uh, if you remember the previous video that we did on Apple Home, the uh, Home application that you get on, on an iPhone, and that's using the HomeKit integration of Philips Hue. Uh, that, of course, allows you to control your lighting directly from within the iPhone operating system, but also through, also through Siri, and I want to have a play around with that. Um, but using this particular application on Windows, you can also have Cortana integration um, and use the voice assistant on Windows to control your lighting. So I'm going to have a play around and see if that works as advertised. Um, so that is um, a good way that you can start to play around with controlling your lighting from your PC. It's just a straightforward app for the time being. Uh, I'm certainly keen to see if there are other ways to deliver integration and how else you might use this, but it can be a nice convenient feature if you happen to be sat with a tablet or a laptop, as I mentioned, and you want to use it to control your lighting. 
Um, I have written up a sort of mini companion blog post to go with this just to um, run through in more detail some of the things that I'm noticing with this app in particular, such as the scenes, for example, and all of the um, stuff from the Hue Labs um, scenes that are showing up here that don't appear in the main app. So do check that out. It's uh, in the description below if you have a look for the link there, or visit the website newhometricks.com. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.